this is Stampy and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world and I got a very exciting video for you now uh, because this is the day in which I'm going to go to the moon. I'm going to finally uh, launch my rocket and I'm going to go to space, I'm going to go to the moon and I'm going to have fun exploring up there. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that turns out. And I have actually finished the rocket since the last video. Um, I've finished the interior which I got a very small amount done uh, in a very unpredictable uh, unproductive video last um, week if you saw that. Uh, but yeah, I finished it off now and it's now equipped and ready for launch and I'm going to take a dog with me. And what's this? There's a moose here. A uh, flippy flop apparently. Uh, I think Lee has started a trend of going around putting a moose in all of my rooms or something. I've seen a few of these scattered around the place so okay, looks like the, uh, the dogs have some company. Uh, anyway, in this video, I'm going to take the Arbiter, and I'm taking the Arbiter uh, because the Arbiter should be set for going to space. It's actually a character from Halo, which is a sci-fi game, so uh, it seems like uh, a very fitting dog to take with me uh, in this video. Uh, but I am going to do my normal uh, beginning video ritual, and I'm going to go to my love garden, and I'm going to give someone a shout-out. And i got a very good reason uh, for giving someone a shout-out. Actually, what I'm going to do very quickly is show the rocket. Look at it. Check it out. 100% completed. Um... It's not the best rocket in the world. It's probably still a bit chubby. It needs to go on a diet and the blade things at the bottom are probably a bit too big. But I don't know. I'm happy with it. I added some glowstone so it sort of gets lit up at night like this. So um, yeah, it looks quite good in all different weather conditions. And I'm kind of happy with it. it. It's okay. It could have ended up worse. So um, that's the way I'm going to look at it. Uh, but anyway, uh, today I am adding... I can't even see them. I need to put a torch down. I'm adding Dracrisky. And uh, sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. That's actually their Twitter name if you want to follow them. And uh, they actually drew a picture of me and Ballistic Squid combined. Basically a squid cat uh, they drew me. And it looked really awesome and it made me laugh. And it was actually because on my uh, quest to kill the Ender Dragon series, uh, I mentioned that if we went both went through the, uh, the Never Portal at the same time, would we be sort of combined to be mutant people? And look, there's another moose up there. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, he actually drew me that. And uh, there's going to be a link to it in the description if you want to see the drawing that he did. It's kind of like a uh, Squidward from um, Spongebob and a cat's body. Kind of a bit like Garfield's body or something. And yeah, I thought it was really awesome, so I decided uh, to add them to my love garden. Uh, but anyway, here's my spaceship. What's going on with the door? Oh, come on, the Arbiter. What are you doing? Stop playing with the door like that. It's going to slam on your face. Come on, get in here. Come on, get inside. Is he scared? Oh, are you scared to go to space? Do you not want to go? Oh no, okay, well you can, okay, yeah, he doesn't, he wants to stay here. Okay, the Arbiter, you can sit there, I won't take you to space if you don't want to go, that's fine. Uh, anyway, here's what my, my rocket ship looks like completed. Uh, this is my storage area, where I got my cobblestone, which apparently I need. I got some coal, basically some basic supplies, some wood. I got some food there, in case I get hungry, also to put in the engine. I got some wool there, any repairs, if I need to patch up any of the uh, the panels, I can use there my wool, as uh, seen as my ship is made out of wool, and some plants as well, if I want to sort of, I don't know, culturalise some other planets, you know, plant some trees down there. And I also got my equipment. Uh, any tools I need, like fishing rods, if there's a lake on the moon. I don't know if there is. Uh, also, my weapons. I got a sword, a bow, and a flower, in case I want to attack someone with hippie power. Uh, this is my uh, control room up here, which you may have seen me build. And uh, I built this in my last video. And this is the view you get when you're steering the ship. I also got some other control panels and uh, some computers and stuff up here. And uh, up here is a... Uh, an empty sort of useless space, which I haven't uh, come up with any idea yet. That's just like a room of no requirement. Uh, but if we go down here, we go to the living quarters. A nice yellow sofa there. I got some cake, which I'm going to eat now because I forgot to have my breakfast. <laughs> uh, these are the sleeping quarters. Uh, that's Lee's bed there. Uh, there's Squid's slippery bed. And here's Stampy's 90 dream activator of sleepy happy times, <laughs> which is what I decided to name my bed. I got a nice uh, item frame there with some cake in. And uh, down here at the very bottom, where am I? I've got lost. Oh, there's a, a seating area there as well. Uh, but if we go down to the very bottom, uh, we have the engine room uh, where we have all of the engines and all of the mechanical stuff that makes it powered. And uh, because my ship is powered by food, uh, over here I have a nutrients energy power fuel converter thingy machine. And uh, I put the food in there uh, to power it uh, for when I want to go to space, which is what I want to do right now. There's enough chit chat, there's enough build up. Now is the time for launch. It's time for takeoff. I'm going to be the first cat in space and I'm very excited about it. So here we go. 
Uh, I guess I need a big countdown, don't I? So we will launch in five, four, three, two, one! Lift off! Um, lift off! Um, right, one more go. Lift off! Come on! Come on! Which button do I press to make this thing launch? Oh, come on! Don't tell me rockets don't work in Minecraft! I followed the manual, I built it perfectly! Why isn't it working? Oh, I've not put any fuel in, have I? I need to put some fuel in, I need to put some food in the engine to power it. Uh, what should I, should, I, should I power it with cake? Should this be a, a cake powered launch, my first launch? <laughs> I wish I didn't eat so much of that cake there. Right, okay, I can bake another cake, no worries. Uh, what do I need? I need wheat, uh, sugar, eggs, and free milk. Okay, so let, let's go Let's go make myself a cake. Is there a crafting table? Right, here's one here. Um, where is it? There we go. Right, here we go. This should hopefully uh, power me for when I go to the moon is the plan. So all I need to do is go and put that in there. It might take a little bit of time just to sort of warm up and get ready. Then that should light up and then that should power the thrusters and then hopefully I'll take off. So should we do this again? Should we go and try and have another takeoff? Right, here we go. Attempt number two. We will launch in five, four, three, two... One! Okay, here we go! I can hear the engine starting! There's the thrusters and we've taken off! We have launched! Goodbye, lovely world! I'll see you soon! Mr. Stampy Cat is finally going for a trip to the moon! I am here riding through space on the world's first ever cake-powered rocket ship. I feel very honoured right now. And this is amazing! Look how beautiful it is with all the twinkling stars ahead of me. And we're going to descend. We're just about to land on the moon. And we have landed! I'm on the moon! Look! I'm actually on the moon! I'm the first cat on the moon! What an absolute honour! I believe they've sent dogs to the moon. Well, they've sent dogs to space, I know. Uh, I don't know if they've sent cats to space. But I know! I've now gone to space! Let's go have a look out the windows down here. Let's see what the moon looks like. Okay, I, I kind of wish I added some um, some bigger windows. It doesn't matter, I can go outside in a second anyway. Oh, look at it. This place is massive. Look at it. Okay, so what do I need to do? Okay, I need to I need to build a flag. I need to add a stampy cat flag. I also believe, let me just check, yeah, I'm going to have to go get some fuel at some point. Uh, I do have some more food on board, but I need to kind of ration it so I eat some and uh, the rest I can put uh, into the engines. I'm going to have to find some sort of food to power it. Um, okay, well, what should I get? If I get some uh, some orange and some white wool, and uh, then if I make some fences, uh, then I can make the uh, the official Mr. Stampy Cat flag, and I can I can mark the moon. I can I can leave my mark that will like forever be up here. And yeah, then I can just go exploring and just go and have a look around the moon. This is actually really exciting. Okay, let's go. Let's do it onto the surface. Um, if you're wondering how I'm going to be able to breathe out there, as uh, seen as I don't have much of a uh, spacesuit, I've only got my space boots on, that's going to weigh me down so I don't have uh, low gravity. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to hold my breath, and I'm very good at holding my breath, so here we go. <gasps> I'm actually also very good at speaking while holding my breath as well, and look at it! Look at this place! I guess this is the, um, the time for my inspirational speech. This is... One small step for Mr. Stampy Cat! Ow! Oh my ow! That wasn't one small step, that was one giant leap! <laughs> right, well, I'm here! This, um, wasn't the most elegant landing on the moon, but I've made it! I'm on the ground! Look, my feet are on moon rock! Look at this place, this is amazing! <laughs> right, let, let's go exploring, let's go and see what there is to see! Um, there doesn't seem to be much to see, it seems to be a lot of similar looking rocks but then again I don't know uh, exactly what I expected um if I go up here this is quite a nice a nice elevated perch uh, for me to go and build my um my flag so if I put down my fences and uh, I got my wall here as well and um yeah I can build the uh the classic orange and white stripe uh, for the Mr. Stampy Cat flag so here we go if I just uh, pile up some fences like this. Uh, I need to go a bit higher, I think. Uh, yeah, then I can build my flag and this will be here forever. I'll forever have a Mr. Stampy Cat flag here on the moon. And not many other cats can say that. Can your cat say that? Can your cat say that it's flags on the moon? <laughs> right, if I build this out about here and then do my white stripes, so it's kind of like the same as my fur, like orange and white. And there we go. There we have the flag. I'm going to put some torches under it as well uh, just to light the place up. And look at that. How's that for an epic view? My big flag on the moon. And look at this place. It's huge. Oh, I like my rocket as well. My rocket looks awesome from here. 
Uh, where shall I go then? Oh, look at that. There's kind of like a massive, a massive mountain or like hill over there. A massive mound and there's all like craters and there's all like random rocks everywhere. Let's just climb up to the top up there. Shall I go and do some, some rock climbing on the moon? <laughs> let's do it. Let's go and explore up here. It's very dark. It's very dark upon the moon. I don't know really what I expected up here, to be fair. And uh, look, oh, look, there, look, there's my lovely world. That's what my lovely world looks like from the sky. It all looks shiny and silver. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Let me put down some torches so I can see it properly. And what is this weird moon rock up here? I thought the other uh, moon's meant to be made out of cheese. I actually believe it is made out of cheese, but not on the surface. I think that because of all of the UV rays and all of the horrible space stuff. It's kind of made the outer shell all hard and crusty, but I believe if I dug down deep enough, uh, the inside would all be made out of cheese. And I could use that. That's what I could use to power my ship. I need to go find some cheese. And look, look, can you see that in the distance? There's two figures. Are they astronauts? Are they, are they aliens? Are they moon aliens? Hello, gooey. Can, can you hear me? Hello, over there? What are they doing? They're just wandering around here on the moon. Are, are you lost? <laughs> I feel pretty lost myself. Um, I should offer them something. Would you like, would you like some bread? Hello, can you, can you hear me? Oh, maybe, oh, I don't think they can hear me in space. I don't think sound travels in space. Um, hello? Would, would you like some bread? Are you friendly? Are you going to attack me? Or are you just going to stare at me? I love there's two of them. Hello? Um, they're kind of just looking at me. <laughs> this is a bit weird. Um, Oh, they're just following. Oh, they're following me. They are interested in me. Um, what, what, what do you want? Um, I, I suppose I'm intruding on their land. I suppose. Do, do you just want to look at me? Is that what they're doing? Okay, I'm just gonna kind of leave them there. Oh, they're just, they're just following after me. <laughs> oh, I don't think he wanted my bread. Maybe they don't eat bread. Maybe they can only eat lunar cheese. Uh, speaking of lunar cheese, I better get some pretty quick because I'm kind of running out of breath here. <laughs> I can hold my breath for about, for only about five minutes, but when I'm speaking, I think that goes down. What I need to do is I need to find some sort of crater, like where maybe where like a meteor has struck. And uh, there might be, there we go. Here, this is what I need. And there's some cheese down here. All right, let's gather up these cheese blocks. And then hopefully I can use these uh, to power up my rocket. And uh, then, yeah, then I, then I can go back home. I mean, it's very exciting going to the moon. Uh, I'll, I'll give it that. But there's there's not much here, to be fair, is there? It's it's kind of a lot. I, I got my new friends, though. Friends? Oh, where my friends? Oh, they've left me. I thought they were following me. Oh, I think they lost interest in me. Okay, well, let's go. I have another quick little wander around. Uh, and then I'll start heading off before I... I start having to take too many deep breaths. I can't believe the size of this place. It's massive. Whenever I look up the moon from down low, it always looks like just a little like speck in the sky moving across. Uh, but when I'm on it, it's absolutely huge. And I look at my flag up there and my spaceship. Right, okay, I'm, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home uh, before I, I lose my breath. And yeah, then I'm going to go back to Stampy's lovely world because it is nice here. Uh, but I miss my dogs and the Arbiter and Henry and Esther, my chicken and everyone. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to live here. I don't want to build a home here. And uh, I am running out of breath. Uh, so yeah, um, I, I need to get back in now, I guess. Um, I suppose if I just sort of uh, noob pole my way up to the top up here. Where's the door? The door's here. Right, if I just pile up some dirt here. I know it's not the most elegant and futuristic way to get onto a spaceship. Maybe I should have uh, planned ahead and had a ladder or something. But here we go. It should get me in. And um, I believe I'm just going to have to break down the door. Am I going up the right side? Here we go. It's a lot taller than I remember. And uh, yeah, if I just if I just block this up for now with just some uh, some orange wool. There we go. Good as new. So hopefully... Hopefully we can power it with the cheese that I gathered. So if I shove the cheese down in here, hopefully that will be enough uh, to power the, uh, the rocket ship. And then I can go and return back home. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's the end of my time on the moon. It's time for me uh, to now go back to Stampy's lovely world. So I've had a good time with you, moon. We've had some fun times, uh, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to love you and leave you. So let's take off once again in five, four, three, two... One! Right, here we go, let's launch! Is it gonna work? Oh, is the cheese powerful enough to launch the rocket ship? Yes! Yes it is! I just took off from the moon! How incredible is this? I'm going back home! This is never gonna get old. I don't see how I could ever get bored of flying around space 
in my very own rocket ship. In the future, I want to travel everywhere in my own rocket ship. This is so much fun. Uh, and I've had an amazing day on the moon, but it's kind of nice to be going back home now. I can get the dirt underneath my paws again and sleep in my own bed. And we're descending. I'm going to be arriving back at my lovely world. Here we go. I can see the lighthouse on the horizon. And here's the rest of my land. And I've landed. I'm back here. I've safely just touched ground down here on side Stampy's lovely world yet again. That was an incredible day. And why is my door fixed? I'm sure I broke my door, didn't I? Who fixed my door for me? That's weird. Anyway, the Arbiter. The Arbiter? Doggy? Where did I put the Arbiter? I'm sure the Arbiter was sitting right here. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm sure he's just gone back to the doghouse. And I can go and see all of my other dogs again and say hello to them. And it's just going to be nice lying in my own bed again. But it is night, so I do want to be careful just in case there's a bunch of googlies around. And oh, look, there's Fred over there, my friendly Enderman. Hello, Fred. Were you there waiting for me just for when I landed to greet me back to my world? And I got all of my farm animals here as well. Hello, Moo Moos. How are you doing today? Hello, Woolies. Hello, Piggy Wigs. All of my slightly weird named animals over there and I'm back I'm back at my house it's nice it's nice to be home it's been an absolutely amazing trip out on the moon and such a fun video to make uh, but it is nice to finally uh, be back where I belong inside of Stampy's lovely world and that is the thing that got me to the moon that is my trusty rocket ship uh, which got me all the way to the moon and importantly back as well uh, which is quite crucial uh, sadly though well, we have just about run out of time on this video, uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it, it was great fun making it, and there'll be a link in the description to the next part of my Let's Play once it's online. But that's the end of this video, so I just want to say thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!